Hi, I'm Jack Thompson. This is my presentation for A300 SPO, working in the sport, leisure and fitness, fitness sector. So the job I would like to have in five years time after graduating is an event manager or event coordinator within the sport and industry, preferably football. As shown in the appendix document, the job I'm basing this presentation on um, is from Portsmouth Football Club, who on LinkedIn listed an opportunity for an event coordinator, both on match days and non-match days full time. So the roles as an event coordinator takes, not only just listed from Portsmouth, but from other event coordinator and event manager roles, um, are ensuring successful event delivery on match day and non-match day. So you're looking at community events, you know, football in the community. A lot of that goes on in football now. Uh, then also things like hospitality lounges, which not only do you have to run and prepare, you've then got to increase the sales of that hospitality and then increase sales of tickets. So it also broadens itself into the marketing side of things in terms of where you market it. You have to then look at the hospitality, where you're marketing it towards affluent people and affluent fans, then they have to be fans of the club to want to come. You then got also monitor customer satisfaction, make sure staff are to a certain standard, train these staff, allow the staff to complete their roles. You know, you need to supply them with the correct tools to be able to complete their work to a high standard. Uh, additional administration work also in terms of accounting, billing, things like that, possibly paying staff, doing rotors as well, so that staff coordination and staff organisation comes into it too. And then also Portsmouth list preparing information for match day stadium manager. So that would be health and safety, um, possibly where away fans are sitting, is there enough of a gap between them and the home fans to avoid trouble, are there enough stewards in that gap to stop the fans from converging, things like that. Uh, so skills and experiences that Portsmouth list that I would need are a minimum of 18 months experience working in a similar role, exceptional administrative skills and exceptional organisational skills. And then previous work experience of working within a customer focused environment. Now, the three things they list as um, skills and experience you will need um, on, on the advert. So my current qualifications are I'm currently studying a sport management degree, so that by the time you know I'd be looking to apply to this, I will have hopefully received at least a two one. I'm on track for a two a high two one, looking to try and get a first. Um, I do have previous customer facing role experience. Um, I've worked in a restaurant locally for five years now. A year and a half of that has been as a manager, as, as, a, as a shift leader. So I've been able to run it, work with a team, you know, build rapport with them and be able to effectively get the most out of them. They're quite young people, they need to be trained, then they need to be, you know, val feel valued, understand why they're there and sort of allow them to buy into how we're running the restaurant. So that's given me experience in a customer-focused environment, which is something Portsmouth are looking for. Um, <clears throat> being there has also given me experience within an online booking system that I feel could be transferable to most online booking systems if that's how what they use within their corporate and hospitality sections. I've also volunteered as a match day sort of helper at the CBS Arena for both Coventry City and uh, Wasps Rugby Football Club. Um, this is at the CBS Arena locally to Coventry. Um, I've done things like stewarding, ticketing, bar work, all at the CBS Arena. So I've sort of got a feel for how it, how events work on the you know, on the ground floor. So uh, on on personal fan level and working with fans, I also have great motivational and organisational skills. Um, Often my shifts at work are very well organised. We are, you know, we have a motivated team. I've been able to motivate, you know, young people that are 16, 17. There's not too much of an age difference. So I sometimes, at first, I quite struggled with, you know, being able to be that over, overbearing figure. But, you know, we, we work together and we, and we, and we serve, we serve well. In terms of negatives that would not allow me to, to get this role right now, Probably a lack of experience within the sporting industry. Obviously, eighteen months is a lot to have as a grad undergrad, and and I couldn't have had a full time role. So, 
experience within a lower role first before trying to apply for these sorts of roles is essential. Uh, Hodges and Birchall uh, found that 79% of employers uh, held it as a vital part of an applicant's CV that they did have experience. So applying to this now without any experience straight out of university would most likely not get me an interview. So definitely going into another football club or sporting club and getting experience in running events, even if it's part time, managing things, you know, working in a sports sort of side of it. Um, then I've listed in the appendix a personality test that I did um, just to sort of see if I had any negatives in how I would come across in, you know, in in terms of my personality. So I did score 30 percent. I only had a 30 percent score of extra virgin which the big five personality trait test listed that that would often lead to anxiousness. So I have had interviews before and I have felt anxious in there and I, and I, and I sort of searched that in terms of what I could do, what that would do. And I found that calmer presences convey confidence and ability to interviewers. So as an, interview, as, as an interviewee, if I am anxious, that's conveying to them that I'm not confident in my ability so making it less likely that I would actually receive the job. Another negative is probably my small network of contacts in the sporting industry. I don't have too many links to people within the sporting industry yet. Uh, I need to, to broaden that with lecturers, colleagues, volunteer more. That will find me more partners to put in my networking map. Things like that, really. So in terms of my plan to get this job in five years' time... Uh, firstly, just complete my degree in sport management to the best I can. Um, I'm going to look to complete my dissertation within the next six months and then also look to try and get a first. I'm then not going to stop there in terms of my education. I'm going to move on to a master's in sport management at Coventry University too. Um, but to sort of tailor it towards events, I'm going to focus my dissertation on sport and events to show employers, you know, my ideas, my originality in terms of what I, what I want to do. There is also a sport and events module in the master's course at Coventry University, so that helps a lot too. Probably both of those pieces I'm going to start to use my Coventry domain, which is something I had to make in the first year of university here, of which we made a website dedicated to ourselves, to sell ourselves to employers. So what I'm going to start to do is any sporting events work that I do, I have done some this year as well in other modules in my sport and management degree. Um, I'm going to start to put my work onto the C onto the domain so I can link that onto my CV. And then employers can see my ideas and see what I've done in and around sporting events at university. So it sort of gives them a picture of what I actually did at uni at university and doesn't just give them a you know two one in sport and management simplified it gives them a bit of depth to what i've actually what i've actually done also i'm going to apply for lots of different roles when i'm searching for the job um i apply for a lot of event management roles um indeed one of the leading websites for job finding for people state that you need to basically apply for 15 roles a week which is balancing then not applying for too many that the quality is compromised but then having a good, a big enough quantity that you're actually going to hear back from people. Um, if you do too many, they're not going to be as tailored. So tailoring also then tailoring the CV to the individual employer to really capture you know what they want from an employee. Um, definitely going to volunteer more. Um, I've recently applied to work at the Mobos. Tom Basin posted it in our Aula community for SEM, so Sport and Event Management. Um, that's going to be working directly with the event manager of the MOBOs and it will be a range of different tasks over the evening and it'll be a really good experience which is then also going to broaden my network again because I'll be meeting loads of people but there's lots of op opportunities that have been posted that I've ignored in the past that I'm sort of starting to realise now that I need I need that experience, I need that range of experience and then also that all those networking contacts, people that you've work, worked for before are then much more likely to employ you in the future. Thank you.